The universe is about to bless you big time, my friends. Welcome to this mystical forest. I'm welcoming you here. I'm sending you some love. And I want to give you another message because I can see you, you are doing a great job, you are doing a great work. You are truly changing yourself on a better. And here is something you should know about yourself, that life is not actually about balance. And many times we are hearing life is about balance, you need to find balance between your work and your life, you need to find balance between love and hate, you need to find balance between imagination and intellect. But it's not about balance. There's something that the universe wants to teach us, the nature wants to teach us. The universe is expressing itself through us. And it is telling to us that life is not about balance, life is about harmony. It's about finding the harmony in everything that we are doing. And it's really beautiful because whatever we are doing, if we can find harmony in it, we will always feel blessed, we will always feel good, whatever we are doing. And I'm saying to you, become more creative. Start creatively express yourself because that's how you will see the beauty. Beauty is coming through us. We can see the beauty all around us. But you know that like two different persons, two different people, one can see a beauty all around him and the other one can see just the bad things. It's all about our perspectives. So how you are seeing the world right now depends on what you will experience right now. And I'm saying to you, the universe is about to bless you big time. But there's something you need to do. There's something you need to do. You need to reconnect back to yourself to find that silence. But not just silence. To find that freedom, the freedom of spirit, the freedom of expression, the freedom of creativity. Just find that beauty like the birds are sing singing right now. That's truly something amazing we can do and I want to share this message with you. Because yesterday I've shared my latest painting about the phoenix, the rising of the phoenix. It was like the phoenix which is coming from the fire in the woods and this painting actually represents that when you go truly deep I made the forest because of that for me it represents something deep we can go deep into the forest we could go deep into the waters or wherever but when we go deep into something we will always find something which was missing before something which we couldn't see before so when we go deep into whatever, we will find the answers of what we are looking for. And when we find the answers, they will rise and shine in a new manifestations. Because each answer can bring us new perspective. When we have a new perspective, we actually see brighter vision, wider vision. We have more understanding of what is happening and why the things are happening the way. So the universe is about to bless us as soon as we are willing to take the steps. As soon as we say, okay, I will stop observing what is happening. I will stop reacting with, on what is happening. But I will truly become aware of how I'm thinking right now, how I'm feeling. What I will do with those thoughts? Oh, am I want to change something? If yes or no, what I will do right now? What is my vision of the future? The universe is constantly, it wants to see you happy. So what is your vision of the future? And truly go deep into that, like I said in the previous video, go into the core of what you truly want to experience. Go into the core of what you truly want 
because life is not just about material things and money and all like that and I'm not saying money is bad I'm not saying material things are bad it will destroy you I'm saying it's great it's good to have all of that but it's even better to have a peace of mind while having all of that right harmony harmony is the core of staying happy so I said before the nature is not about balance so stop finding the balance because it's really hard to find it but we can find harmony in everything we can do so just look about it for example look about that forest if nature would be about the balance then on this side would be like a blooming trees it would mean that on the other side there should be just dead trees, just all dead trees. But it's the mixture of everything. At some point you can see just leaves on the floor, at some point you can see beautiful trees, bushes and everything, but it's all a mixture. It's like an artist would be walking and just painting freely without any plane, without any vision, just painting, oh, this is beautiful and this is beautiful and I should do something here that's nature and it feels like everything is just perfect it's not but it feels like it's perfect because it is not perfect and that's harmony harmony of life is to see everything as it is perfect the way it is even if it's not yes we have problems we have challenges we have to, the things to deal with but it's the harmony in every single thing because it is learning us a lesson and the universe is about to bless us as soon as we can see harmony in every single moment so how to find the harmony in every single moment let's get it real how to find it you know we can't find it from our analytical perspective we can't think oh, what is the harmony in that what is oh he said something about what is the harmony we can't find it that way we know that but our heart always knows the harmony is in there so look so long into it that you will find it the seeker becomes the finder right remember that so how to find the harmony you know as I mentioned before, when we are analytically thinking, when we are, when we are analyzing or criticizing, oh, this is good, and bad, and beauty, and it's not good, whatever, we are in a high beta brainwave state, according to neuroscience. And while observer or any human being is on high beta brainwave state, all they can see is what is wrong, what is missing, what they should add, what they should change, but not what is, what truly is, what is the core of that thing, why it is the way it is, that's harmony. And how we can truly see it, we need to change our brainwave state, we need to change our state of being and that's what the universe is teaching us. As soon as you can understand that, the universe is about to bless you. So how to, to calm our brainwave state, how to calm our state of being? I mentioned before that when we step into our heart, when we go from our mind into our heart, we actually find out why mind is here for. Why mind is here for? Mind is actually our tool for creating, but most people are are victims of their minds and when we become victims of our minds we think that we need to do what our mind is telling to us and our mind is always telling to us what it was programmed in their past in the past so what we are seeing what is around us is actually adding the programs to our mind the subconscious mind and that that subconscious mind is running that programs every single day all the time and we are losing ourselves in that so we can't see the harmony if you can't see the harmony it means that you have lost yourself in your subconscious programs 
and you can't see a way out but it's really a, an easy way to step outside our ancient ancestors were using different techniques to get outside of that program they were using mantras and prayers and different meditations but what they were actually doing were creating a feeling in the body which starts to producing such a powerful vibration and that vibration was all about harmony the love the love frequency when they started producing that frequency it became much more powerful than any subconscious program and we can do it anytime we want I will explain you how so they've learned that our mind is a tool but we need to become the masters so how to become the masters of your of our minds we need firstly to become aware of <laughs> to become aware of the mind so how to become aware of the mind the universe wants to teach us to finally learn those lessons finally figure out that you have all the technology already within you you can use the power breathing like to recharge yourself with all the oxygen your cells needs to rejuvenate your body can heal itself just by breathing and when you add your mind the power of attention you can truly lead your focus on any points of awareness any points any area in your body you can heal anything you want that's what ancient traditions ancient civilizations are teaching us now we are finding that out the new science is actually researching that so the universe is about to bless us as soon as we find out that we have all the power right now at this moment and many times I receive a question hey I truly want to manifest a wanting reality like I'm dreaming about it for so long but I still don't know why it's not working and I'm saying because you're not seeing the harmony right at this moment I was at the same position I I knew back in my past when I wanted to change certain things in my life I was forcing myself I was listening affirmations I was watching videos about manifestation I was reading books about law of attraction probably over 30 books about law of attractions law of attraction which I could found and still I was applying all those things but nothing was changing until I found out that the core the fundamental change I need to do is my state of being right at this moment as soon as I started seeing the harmony all around me my state of being changed I became more creative I started painting I started designing my future so I went from looking into my past into the present state and I started designing my future and I created then in my mind that future more important than my past was when my future became more important than my past was then I was just thinking okay what I should do today that I will get closer to that vision and that's where the blessings of the universe comes in because when we create our vision of the future more important than our past was then we will always know what to do right at this moment so we will get closer to that vision and it's really interesting what is the quantum model of reality the act of observer will always create something which is possible to see so what it means doesn't matter in which direction a conscious observer is looking at whatever is the intention behind the looking for example your intention can be a vision of the future wherever you are looking at you will see something you will create something which will be possible to see for yourself if for example I use a blank canvas a white blank canvas and if I will be looking at it for some time I will see a finished painting I will see it because I've trained myself to see it 
and every time when I'm doing it, the painting is not there yet. The painting is not finished, even not a single color on the canvas, but I'm able to see a finished painting because I created it in my mind. And same is with anything in the reality, anything, wherever we are looking at, we can see what we want to see. And if we will walk on that journey as that vision is more important than our past, than the challenges of the past, than the painful memories of the past, we will always know what we should do right now and that's the power of the mind. And your state of being will be empowered, you will feel like you are a winner, you will feel like you are a truly great creator, because you will feel powerful. You will have then more control, more awareness over how you think, because you will not want to think about any negative when you are thinking about your wanting future and how to get there. But there's another thing, like sometimes also I receive a question, hey what should I do? I, I finally manifested the thing that I was dreaming for so long and it felt like the universe just blessed me. And then it was taken from me. It happens many times and again it happened to me as well. So what is happening? Like any material thing, anything in this reality should not change us mentally, should not change us emotionally, should not change us any physically. Because life is not material things at the first place. The material things are actually the extension of our state of being. So it means that when you get into the higher frequencies, all the material things you want will come to you automatically. The universe will just bless you automatically. You will not even need to work for it anymore. It will just happen for you. So when you will raise your frequency, it will come to you and it will not disappear. The problem is many times. It's not a problem, it's a, just a challenge we need to overcome. Many times when we manifest certain things in our lives, we truly manifest them and then we become happy and excited about it. And it actually turns on our ego. We become like, ha, I, I've made it now. I made it. And then suddenly it just disappears. And what we can learn from that, we can learn as much as you're excited for something good, you will be sad for something bad. And this is really powerful, so I will repeat it. As much as you're excited for something good, you will be sad for something bad. And it doesn't mean that you shouldn't be excited. But how you would feel if you could see the harmony all around you? That will actually be my next painting. The harmony will be the name. I can already see it. And I'm talking about it just because of that idea. So how would you feel if you could see a harmony all around you? Not that you would be just excited. You would be happy. You would be in love with life. You would be living like the greatest things already happened for you. You would be living that way. You would wake up in the morning and you would be inspired to create. So one thing that I've learned on my process and I'm still learning a lot of things like all we are all learning it. When I learned that life is not about me, life is about expression the creation of the universe. It's about expression. So we are here to express and to add something to humanity. When I learned to understand that, I've learned that it's truly not about what I will manifest, how much money I will make, what I can buy now, where I can go. It's about what I can give. It's about what I can create with that energy. Because every time when I see a harmony, I feel inspiration. I truly feel that good energy. I should definitely do something. I should definitely create a painting right now. Or write a song. Sometimes I'm writing poems. Sometimes I'm writing book. Sometimes I'm doing different things. And sometimes I'm just walking in nature and I truly feel inspired. And 
Every time when I'm doing it, I can see harmony in my life. But I'm telling you, it's truly, sometimes it's easy to lose ourselves in not finding harmony when we are like dealing with certain challenges. But actually, why the challenges are happening for us? Why there is so many things we need to learn from? Just because life wants to teach us a lesson to see a harmony in it because actually everything that is happening for us is just reminding us what we should change about ourselves what we should add so open your hearts my friends and find the harmony in every single moment and the universe will bless you for each of those moments so it's truly not about manifesting the things it's about seeing the harmony and all those manifestations will come to you automatically so that's what the universe wants you to know to understand and it's quite simple actually it's truly quite simple and before I said I will I will explain you how you can go from more from analytical mind to your heart to open your heart from high beta brainwave state into an alpha state into rest and rejuvenate state so we can do it together it's a short practice whatever you are doing if you're painting right now or drawing or whatever you can just stop for a moment but not if you're driving a car right now then you can do it later <laughs> so what we can do firstly just stop for a moment and close your eyes I will do with you we have some birds so we have a support by nature and just stop for a moment and you can place the left hand over your heart just place it touch it maybe with a few fingers or you can place your whole hand onto your heart and for a moment just observe your body how do you feel within yourself as an observer in the body and now start breathing deeply and slower like breathing for at least five to six seconds breathing in and breathe out for five to six seconds with your attention on your heart and breathe in once again and breathe out and keep breathing slower and deeper And for a moment, just think about something beautiful. Think about something beautiful that is within you or around you, or maybe something beautiful that happened in your life recently. How you can experience it emotionally. Are you grateful for it? Are you happy for it? Are you excited about it? All the beautiful nature, the birds that we can hear right now, it's all adding something really beautiful to our lives. And truly just be aware of that emotional expression of your body, how it feels when your attention is on that harmony, on that beauty. The beauty is all around us. And for a moment stay aware of those feelings. That's the harmony from your heart to the cells of your body into the reality of manifestation of your mind. that's how you can reconnect with your heart if you feel more relaxed right now you just tapped 
from beta to alpha brainwave state and if you truly feel the vibrations right now in your body it means that you've opened your heart and wherever you will look right now you will see more beauty and that's harmony that's how we can learn we can train ourselves to see harmony all around us and that's what the universe wants to teach us the beauty is all around us the beauty is within us that's what the universe wants to teach us as soon as we understand that the universe will bless you with all the things with everything you want because actually everything is already yours but you're not able to see it because you were lost in the analytical mind so that's it my friends i'm sending you love i'm sending you power i'm sending you blessings have a truly beautiful day with lots of creativity do something creative today and remember that you can always ask the universe for guidance always it will help you one love open your heart peace